this recording. <laughs> this cup is metal. And it makes my water taste like metal. And it makes his teeth fall out. Yeah. If you have magnetic teeth inserts because your teeth suck, you're going to be stuck to this cup forever when you try to drink it. As. It's us. Man, look at that. Look at the lake out there. Look that smooth, dude. All right, um, so we are, we're at, uh, at the lake. At the lake and at the boat. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go in the boat. So I'm on the back of the boat, he's in the front ish. The, like the middle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna check if there's gas in the boat. And if there is, then we're good to go. If there's not, we're gonna have to get gas, which we might not do today. In order to check, we're gonna have to turn the battery on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boop. It's in the run. Then run. And now we see this. We have to acknowledge. The noise was all the plates at the back. Acknowledge, and we've got 26% fuel, 32% fuel. Yes. We have gas, enough of it, to make this. How to drive a boat, specifically a wake boat, because that's what we're on. Yeah. So, when driving a boat, you want to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> here, pull up and then push forward and you go faster the farther you push forward. Right now we're going four miles per hour, which is like, you know, pretty slow because I don't want to be going fast. Uh, if you don't want to be going fast, don't go fast. If you want, you can put on the cruise control, which is usually used when like surfing or wakeboarding, um, which will just kind of keep it at the same speed so you can you don't have to worry about you know changing the speed while someone's riding. So you have a set here and you can up it. So for wakeboarding we'd want to go around 20 21. So we'll, we usually do 21. I've said this before, don't want to be going fast, don't go fast. If you do want to be going fast, you don't want to turn that on and then once you push this pretty much all the way forward, you'll go that speed and it'll lock in there. Uh, and then to stop that you just pull it back and you're good. Uh, right now we're just floating out in the middle of the lake uh, and no one's really out here so that's not really dangerous. If there's a ton of people out here you probably don't want to do that um, unless you're like anchored down which we are not and in a safe spot. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to fill up the ballast and what you want to do when you fill up the ballast for both surfing and wakeboarding. Um, on this boat which is the Moomba Kraz or Craze 2020 um, there's an auto wake feature which comes on a lot of the Moomba ones and the Supra boats, yikes. And so that'll pretty much uh, kind of, I don't know, weight the boat perfectly so that you don't have to worry about what it is. But sometimes it doesn't work so well so you're going to want to know what to do when it's not like that. So we're going to want to set the port side to 100% um, which I would fill all the way and then on the starboard side we're going to go about 80, 85, we're going to go 80 here. And then for the front, uh, depending on what your wake looks like, uh, you kind of have to gauge that. If you fill the front more, it's going to make your wake longer. So uh, if your wake's too short, maybe fill the front more. If you don't like touch screens and you're an older kind of person, there's switches too right here. So you can just flip these up and you'll see on the screen, if you have a screen, how much. If not, just kind of gauge, uh, you know, what it, what it kind of looks like. Say. So when you don't really have a measurement thing for your wake and you have it filled up, but the wake still looks washy, the thing you want to do is you want to fill the side that's washy. Uh, it's about to be completely full. I just wanted to get to that 
180-85 area. Uh, and then we're just going to put it up at 21 and we're going to see how the wake looks when we're going at a regular wakeboarding speed. Um, and then once you see that wake, you can make some adjustments and see what's actually good for the weight you have in your boat at the moment and uh, things like that. put like 40% on that 100% side just to show you what it would look like if you didn't properly weight it. So here's that. So now this wake is so much worse. The goal is to make it level. So you either want to fill this side more or drain this side. But as you can see this wake is terrible. Okay so I just put on auto wake uh, which should uh, I think as we're going, there it goes right there, it's kind of adjusting to what weight's in the boat currently, so it'll try to make the best wake it can. You see auto wake is on here, and this one is now filling, the one that was just way too empty. Um, so it'll make adjustments based on what weight you've got placed in your boat, which is just a nice feature. Uh, definitely not necessary, and now the front ballast is starting to fill. Um, but yeah, it's a nice thing to have when you kind of have a lot of weight shifting in the boat and you want it to kind of stay consistent. So as you can see here, it filled pretty much to the 180 that we had earlier, uh, which just kind of shows that that is kind of what you want to see uh, when you're filling your ballast. So if you don't have the auto wake, that's pretty much the sweet spot uh, for what you uh, what you want to see on there. Right. So, right. <laughs> now we're going to demonstrate how you would set up surfing in this boat, which is pretty simple. It's You're also going to need to fill up the ballast, but you can see on the touch screen here, this up in the upper left hand corner, it says surf off. Just press blue press which side we want to surf on. So we'll do this side to start off. Actually, no, we'll do this side. It's the better one. We'll go on the left side because we're both regular and it's the better side. So, because we have auto wake on right now, it's going to set up the ballast for surfing. So, honestly, I don't need to do much right now, but the goal for surfing is a whole lot of weight in the back. And for this, for this boat specifically, it leans the boat, it has trim tabs. It's showing, this shows the ideal setup that you want for surfing. You want a pitch of one and a roll of a little bit to the left. It goes for surfing that the more weight you have in the front, the longer the wave, and the more weight in the back that you have, the shorter the wave, but it's gonna have to be taller and have a lot more push. So we'll let Auto Wake decide what kind of wave it wants to make, and you can play with it for your ideal wave, but that's how you surf. For surfing, you obviously do not want to go at the same 21 miles an hour that you do for wakeboarding. That's not ideal. For surfing, you want to be between 10 and 11 miles an hour. That's typically where you want to be. So for us, we're going to take it down. I'm actually, I'm actually going to do this thing on the side of the wheel. If you tap this down, it'll move it down a lot quicker than tapping the buttons. So we're going to put it at 10.5 for our surfing because that's the speed that we typically surf at. So now, we're pretty close to having our surf wave set up, so we're just gonna try it, and we're gonna see what Auto Wake wants to do with it. But we have the cruise set, we have the tab set, we have everything set, so we're gonna take off and check out how this surf wave looks. good um, it was like perfectly wave like a um, lot of wave there and it was it looked like a wave so yeah obviously you can see uh, that one side's gonna look a lot better than the other while you're doing it because that's what you want uh, you, you only need one side so if you want to switch sides you can just press the other side and it'll make the same one but on the other side so it's a lot of side yeah. Said there. And as you guys can see, if you look on the screen right now, 
Auto Wick actually was not happy with that surf wave. It wanted a bit more weight on the port side or the left side of the boat, but from our perspective, it looked like a pretty decent wave. So Auto Wake isn't always the greatest thing to use. It's more about your personal preference and Auto Wake is just there to assist you. So it's really down to what you want. Although you can also calibrate your Auto Wake if it's really off, but you do you. In our comments on a video about almost three years old now, uh, people tend to still comment on it though, as it, uh, Seems to be our most popular video, but uh, it appears that our driver, uh, who was my dad, still is my dad, uh, <laughs> he was power turning while picking me up uh, as, so like when I fell wakeboarding, he would turn without really letting up on the accelerator at all and just kind of come get me like that. People were not happy with that. Uh, if you look in the comments of that video, uh, I'd say every other one is probably about stop power turning. Um, yeah, that's kind of the whole comment section actually. So we are going to show you what power turning is and why not to do it and how not to do it, which is very simple. Um, so yeah, I will show you an example of a power turn. Before we get into this though, don't get pissed off at us. We're the only people on the lake. Us doing power turns to demonstrate them is not ruining the water for anybody but ourselves. I'm going to turn on the, go up to about 21 miles an hour, and just pretend someone's wakeboarding. So here we go. Oh my god, he oh did goodness. a tantrum. He oh fell. no, he just caught an edge right there. Oh no, he's still there. Oh my god, we're going to get him really quick because we really have to get him and I'm scared about him. Ah, we really need to get my friend. Dude, are you okay? That was gnarly. So as you can see, if you will look to your left, it leaves quite the, uh, quite the typhoon, if you will. Uh, just a lot of unnecessary waves that don't need to be there. Um, as the comments say nicely, um, those waves are ruining the water, and that's the water that you ride on. So, Waves sent in every direction. Even that way we have waves. Just every single direction there are waves right now. Not calm water. Not good. Not good. Not good. And now I will show you an example of how you probably should uh, pick up riders. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's coming back in. Oh my god, he got such a hard edge. Jesus. I really hope he's okay back there. Look at him, look at him right there. He's just sitting in the water all disappointed. I hope that boat didn't hit him. I hope that boat did not hit him. That would be very unfortunate. Aww. The water looking good though. Those are, do not fret. That's from us just driving this way. That's not a power turn. Oh you good, man, dude? you good? That looks like a pretty hard That edge. looked very hard. So now, as you can see, these waves are from that boat over there. He's just cruising around. But there are significantly less waves when you just let off the throttle and get back to him. And honestly, it doesn't take that much longer to just slow down than to rapidly turn back to him. No, the only time that a power turn would be necessary uh, would probably be if there was, uh, as kind of happens a lot here, if there's like someone following you uh, that's probably way too close to the rider um, and then the rider falls, you definitely want to get back to them fast enough so you can kind of put yourself between the rider and any danger that might hit them. So, otherwise, it's usually a better idea to not power turn, uh, as the comments have made very clear to us. So, there you go. If you think we missed anything, feel free to leave them in the comments and we will absolutely answer those questions to the best of our ability. Yep, you can leave comments or leave uh, suggestions for how we could be better at boating. Uh, so yeah, we'll answer in a follow-up video if you have any questions for us, and if not, hopefully this was helpful to you. Comment down below with those ideas or videos you want to see in the future. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Yep. Peace.